Welcome to the first episode of the series of webinars focusing on the PhotoNeo Bin Picking Studio. The current version of the software is 1.1.0 and in the next few minutes I will guide you through its main features. Each video focuses on one particular user case. But let's start with what the Bin Picking Studio actually is. Bin Picking Studio is software which allows robotic integrators to configure a reliable, fast and robust bin picking application. We will start by positioning Bin Picking Studio in the portfolio of PhotoNeo products. Next, we will explain the motivation for the creation of this unique tool and immediately following, we will explain the first steps in the solution configuration. Today, we will be able to cover topics on how to log into the software and the basic instructions on how to connect a scanner and a robotic manipulator. Jointly with the new release of the Localization Software Development Kit 1.2.2 and FOXI Control 1.2.6, we are announcing a new release of Bin Picking Studio. This version mainly focuses on stability improvements on implementing feedback from our pilot users. Besides the other features, these are the main new improvements. Next to the existing interfaces to robotic brands like ABB, UR, Starbly and Kawasaki, we have implemented new interfaces for KUKA and FANUK manipulators. There were new robot models added mainly to KUKA and FANUK families, but also to other brands. This was mainly driven by the demand from customers. The enhanced visualizer also supports new features. Let's mention a few. Now there are options for choosing one of the predefined views, top, bottom, right, left, front or rear. A special measurement tool, the option to hide, unhide all the components of the environment, and a point cloud in the deployment view. There are also multiple minor and major bug fixes, stability and speed enhancements. The user will appreciate the option to independently activate or deactivate gripping points. This will be very useful during commissioning and testing. The verification of any collision with the scan gripper cloud. This is a special feature which prevents the robot colliding with unknown objects in the bin area. Multiple vision systems are a new feature which enables the system integrator to work with multiple bins. The user can select up to four independent containers of the same part. Advanced Collision Objectives Environments Management Drawing a perfect environment is always difficult since the real world is not always as perfect as in your model. Here, Bin Picking Studio brings an option to divide an environment into multiple independent pieces. Every part of the system can then be adjusted to be as close to the real composition as possible. Even in this industry, users fail to thoroughly read manuals, despite the number of occasions when this would prove really useful. Built-in robot setup documentation will help in times when you need a bit of advice. More descriptive help tasks have been added across the entire platform for those who are not taking detailed notes at the training. The FOXI 1.2.6 interface. An inbuilt network configurator is there to help you to set up most relevant network interfaces to match the network of the peripherals, namely the scanner and the robot. At this point, we should say that we appreciate the support and feedback from our first pilot users testing group. Bin Picking Studio fits well into the family of older PhotoNeo software products. Such products include the Localization Software Development Kit and Locator, which are powerful tools in the hands of an experienced software engineer. However, there is no, or not very simple, communication module for the robotic controller available. The user must take care during path planning for collision avoidance. However, the alternative is a bin picking application fully configured by PhotoNeo Technician. This package brings an end-to-end -end solution, including post-installation support and service. Now, let's take a look at how bin picking can be beneficial for you. The system is based on CAD model recognition. It includes a module for camera and robot calibration, 
a communication interface to several robotic brands, and path planning integrated with collision avoidance. This is an all-in-one package complete with its dedicated hardware called the Vision Control. In this version, we support ABB, KUKA, FANUK, Staubli, Universal Robots, and Kawasaki. We provide optional services such as training, a feasibility study, as well as installation and commissioning in selected countries. Next, we will take a closer look at the topology of the bin picking installation with an overview of the technologies. After this, we will take the very first steps in configuration. Firstly, we need to mention that Bin Picking Studio is a web-based application. It is important to note this since it brings certain benefits as well as a few specifics. Our motivation for the creation of Bin Picking Studio was to translate the experience and knowledge from previous PhotoNeo projects into a product which enables our partners to deploy robust and reliable bin picking applications quickly and easily. The functionality of the system will be continuously enhanced based on feedback from our customers. Bin Picking Studio is a web-based application hosted on a web server running on the Vision Controller. The Vision Controller has several network interfaces used for communication with the FOXI scanner, robotic controller and user. The user can access the studio from the regular web browser installed on his personal computer. All the communication is over the Ethernet and TCP IP protocol. An extension running on the cloud will be an option in the future. There are several benefits for the customer. One such would be the easiness of the configuration solution. Here we transform the difficult approach of writing code into one of working with CAD models, so giving a visual representation of each step of the configuration. This makes initial setup faster and requires less expertise and technical knowledge. Such a solution is reusable and requires less factory downtime as the process is completed in a virtual environment. Additionally, a wide portfolio of robotic brands and models are supported through the scanner to robot calibration interface. And last but not least, the system supports quick reconfiguration which allows the system to support flexible production lines. The setup of the bin picking application can be summarized in these 13 steps. Most of them have already been integrated into the bin picking studio user interface. However, the setting of proper scanning parameters and the PhotoNeo localization file generation still needs to be completed outside the application. This should be included as part of the tool in a future version. We will be demonstrating all these steps in this series of videos to emphasize the ease of configuring bin picking with this unique software package. As we've already mentioned, Bin Picking Studio runs on the Vision Controller. This is a dedicated device with sufficient power to support all the required services like image pre-processing, object localization, path planning and collision calculation. The operating system of this controller is Ubuntu Linux and will remain open for a user until the next release when it will be terminated. The user will log on to the operating system with the username bin picking studio and password studio studio. The web service should be running on the local machine host. The user account for the actual web is called studio at binpicking.studio with the same user password. This is the first page after logging in with the list of all available solutions. Each solution holds comprehensive information about your bin picking application. After completing all the steps in the solution wizard, the bin picking application can be deployed on the PhotoNeo Vision Controller. The completely configured solution is flagged by a green label with Ready for Deployment text. On the left hand side, there is a menu which lists all the mandatory steps in the configuration. At the same time, it notifies the user of the steps which have already been completed with a green mark. Please always follow the steps from top to bottom. 
If the minimum required settings are not met, the visualization page will report an error. This is the solution detail page, which contains no more information than the unique name of your project and the description. It is recommended you use a self-explanatory name and description. This will help you remember previous setups and projects. As previously mentioned, there is still the possibility of accessing the vision controller until the next release. You may connect peripherals using the back of the device. The power supply is also located there. The other side of the device holds a number of network interface ports. There is always a label above the port guiding the user as to where to connect each device. Please pay particular attention to those dedicated to the robotic controller and the FOXI scanner. This color coding might help you use the right ports in cases where the labels are damaged. Thank you for watching this presentation. In the next episode, we will configure the localization, scanner, and robotic controller. If you enjoyed the video or you could suggest any improvements, please send your comments to support at photoneo.com. See you at the next video.